Hello, welcome to my channel again. Uh, <clears throat> decided to upgrade. I wanted to go to a bigger uh, inverter. I had a couple around here, but one was 250, one was 150, one was 350, and I had a 500. Just ran throughout. They draw power when you use them, so I broke down and I bought a bigger one to eliminate all those. I'm going to try to hook this up into the RV too. You can also, it's got the lugs on the back of it. But it's a uh, WZRELB 3000 watt. 12 volt DC, 120 volt AC, pure sign, wave inverter, generator. A uh, lot of good write-ups on it that I've seen. There were a couple bad ones. People complained about the wire, but I'm going to replace the wire anyway. I'll, sh I'll show you in a minute what, I'm, what I'll be using. But yeah, it came in this box. Yeah, big old made in China. But... Packaging's good. I, already, I just cut the top of it off. That's all I opened up. Comes with the wires. These are really thin wires. Thin. I mean, you could probably get away with them, but I wouldn't be maxing this thing out to 6,000 watts. This has a, a three, it's a 3,000 watt inverter, but the max load will be 6,000. You can't run 6,000 all the time. You can only run 3,000 all the time, but this wouldn't, these aren't feasible. I don't agree with the wires either. I think I'll use them for something else. I'll show you the difference here. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to a 2 watt. The reason being, you're not supposed to take your inverters too far from your batteries, your battery bank. I have no choice. I have to go pretty far. So the farther you go, the thicker wire you're going to want to get. This is 2 watt. I may have may be a little extreme, but I'll be on the safe side. And I got that and also You need a fuse. Now this requires a 300 watt fuse. 300 amp fuse, sorry, 300 amp. And that's what this is. This one's nice, it's got the display on the front. It's gonna tell me the voltage coming right from the battery bank. It'll hook it up to the positive side. You hook this up to the negative, it's got a little wire here. This is pretty impressive. But it was supposed to come with a couple extra fuses and it, uh, it never did. And uh, also lugs. I have two different kinds here. A little bit of research. I guess these are zinc coated and they're for more for outside use and then your your standard copper. These are copper just like these. You've just got zinc on them probably so they don't corrode. These are both too hot. You gotta have the stuff. The only thing I didn't get was a master switch. I need a switch to turn this thing off because even when it's plugged in and just at idle, not drawing anything, it still produces, it still takes about probably an amp and a half to two amps to run this, and that's wasted energy. So, there's uh, a lot of crimping to do. It was raining all day today, couldn't get nothing done. But yeah, upgrade your wires. Even if you were going to go two foot, I would upgrade these. I mean, they're nice wires, just I, I think I trust them with 3,000 watts. Safety first, right? Let's see what we got here. We got, oh yeah, kind of fuses. Get you up in here. There you are. These are all 10 amp. You can tell by the color. Do I so many? And then here's your cover to hardwire this. I'm going to hardwire this into the RV. I'm going to run an, a cord from here all the way to the back. Those. Sine wave inverter product manual. This should show quite a bit. Product instruction, inverter specifications. I uh, paid three twenty-four for this. I don't know what the shipping was. I think it was free shipping. But, uh, for the price, it seems pretty reasonable. A lot of these three thousand watt inverters are seven eight hundred dollars. I'm not spending that much. I don't run that much power anyway. So yeah, it describes everything what you can run and what you and, and uh, 
your surge load and everything else like that. Uh, it even shows a system 24 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt higher, higher wiper batteries. There's series and panel parallel there. That's all another. I'm going parallel. Pretty easy direction. That'll be pretty easy to use. Now let's see here. Yeah, I wanted to start this project in the morning. I got everything hooked up, but it's been raining. It's crazy up here, up north. It's, it's raining pretty good. Well, that's styrofoam. That's good. The back. See nice, nice big lugs. take it about those two little screws that hold that cap on are not uh, bolted on oh, nice they didn't even uh, put them in a little bag and so they just threw them right in the bag I'll be careful I think I just lost one a little tiny one now why couldn't they uh, put that on the back there Does have a gauge? Tells you DC voltage, AC voltage. This is why I got. This is why I got this one. This one has. I can plug this right in my RV. I'm gonna get a 30 amp regular RV plug and wire this up and then run the cord all the way to the back where my generator plugs in and everything else like that. Just plug it in. That way my power won't, will not be confused anywhere. I always like to unplug the stuff to plug it back in from shore power to whatever I'm doing. The 96 volt, jeez. I'm sticking with 12. That's pretty nice, though. Two lugs, two fans. That's nice. These are nice and. Yeah, this is just a basic. I'm not going to go over the numbers and everything. I'm just showing you build. I think it'll be pretty good. It's definitely, uh, it's got some weight to it. It's nice. Two plugs. Yeah, but I, I got to get a switch for it, though, so I can turn it off. Right from the batteries, to break these, will just one giant switch. Very nice. And I don't run that much. I kind of overdid it. I could have probably got away with 2,000. Now I have to upgrade my uh, solar. I definitely need panels now. I'm not going to be running much. Laptop, charge phones. Uh, I got a giant fan in here that keeps it really cool in the RV. Everything seems pretty tight. All but the back. These came flying out. Two little washers. And this nut. They're supposed to go here for your cap. There's a plastic cap that comes with it and it goes over top of that. But, uh, great. I lost the nut. Why didn't they put them on there? I don't get it. Other than that, 3,000 watts of pure power. It's the uh, WZR ELB 3,000 watt, 12 volt DC inverter. It's a pure sign too. Stick with pure sign. There's modified. Don't ever, don't get the modified. It's a waste of money. Just get pure sign. It has a better wavelength through the energy. This will actually produces a better field of energy, more stable than your than your house current. This, this, yeah. Everybody said that on the write-ups about this. I'm wondering how loud it is. 
because it's going to be in my cab mounted to my doghouse in the RV. And uh, a couple of the reviews they had said the fans were loud. They do shut off when it's cool, but they had said most of the time the fans run. Now, I don't know if they pick up speed as it gets hotter or they're just on all the time until the thermostat hits. I, I don't know that. I'll have to do some experiment with it. Nobody really said that. Nobody at all. But, uh, all right. Like, subscribe. I got more to come. Maybe I'll take a video after I get everything wired up. But, uh, yeah, I think this is going to come in handy. Real handy. Uh, thanks. Like, subscribe my video. Have a good one. I got a lot of work to do. As long as it doesn't start raining again.